Hey everybody, Tim and Julie here for Batman, the animated series, season one, part 12. We, this, this is our dozen episode review for whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so Batman, the animated series, season one, episodes 49, 50, 51, and 52. So dozen episodes, or dozen reviews, 52 episodes. Because that's how math works, which I'm not, I'm not very good at math, so I'll just trust my notes for that. So we'll just kind of do it as we usually do from the top to the bottom. Episode 49, I am the knight. Um, what did you think? It was okay. It was, um, um, Gordon getting hurt. Mm -hmm. Getting shot. Right. And, yeah. And so this is, I think, the second time we've seen Barbara, seen who is Barbara. voiced by. I don't remember. Melissa. Melissa Gilbert? Gilbert. Yep. So I remember it's the the voice or it's the actress that plays Lara Ingvall in Little House on the Prairie, who I had brought that up last time, but you you didn't recognize her this time. So this time, yeah. now that I had told you who she was. Yeah. So she's still not Batgirl yet. I don't. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. We will see her as Batgirl, but not quite yet. Um, we see the return of Leslie Tompkins mm -hmm. because it's all about like the the anniversary of Martha and Thomas Wayne's death. And I don't know. I've never heard this anywhere else other than other than the animated series. And I, I kind of forgot about it actually. That. Jim Gordon is the same age as Thomas Wayne. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like Batman looks at him more as a father, father figure, figure. Yes. rather than like a co-worker or a mm -hmm. friend or anything like that. Right. So, I mean, it makes sense. Because even looking at like the 60s or something, mm -hmm. like looking at how old Adam West is and how old the actor that plays Gordon is, it's like, I guess I kind of get it. Right. So... It's it's it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anything else for that one? No. It nope. was it was good. It was, I'm glad that it showed that he recovered. And, mm -hmm. yeah. um, are you looking forward to seeing Batgirl, like this version of Batgirl after Barbara actually yeah. does it? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the next episode, Off Balance. Who? Whole bunch of guest stars in this one. I don't even know where to start. So. At this point, so we were watching these out of order, completely out of order. So we've already seen Batman Begins and The Dark Knight Rises. It's not really a spoiler. You know who Rachel Ghoul is, even though they don't say his name in this. And you know who Talia El Ghoul is. And you've seen the son of Batman. So you know Bruce Wayne and Talia have Damien. Mm -hmm. So you know who all of these people are. Um, so Talia El Ghoul makes her first appearance. Played by... Did you recognize her? It's okay. Uh, a lot of these are people are using, vo like, accents. So, mm -hmm. it's okay. Uh, Talia El Ghul is voiced by Helen Slater. Who's not super famous. Uh, hopefully she never watches this. Oops. Oh, uh, I know her more from Supergirl, actually, than mm -hmm. anything else. But, I mean, she was kind of big back in the 70s. Um, so, we get Helen Slater as Talia El Ghul. Her father, her father, Raish, makes an appearance just at the end of this, which we'll we'll see him again later on through the series. Um, voiced by David Warner, who I know him. He's been in tons of Star Trek things over the years. And then, did you ever see Titanic, like the Leonardo DiCaprio Titanic yeah. movie? Um, he was like. Um, Billy Zane, because there, there's there's Jack and Rose, and Rose is engaged to the rich guy, and then he has the butler. Okay. And he, like, Jack even has the line. I was like, is this guy a cop or a butler? And Rose is like, I think he was both. Like, that's David Warner as well. He's he's the butler type character. And that's, that's Rachel Ghoul. And that's always the first thing for David Warner that I think of as Titanic. I don't know why. But we'll, we'll see him a lot more on. And then we also see Count Vertigo, who is played by Michael York. Who, for my generation, 
he is most famous for be playing Basil in the Austin Powers trilogy. But he's also well known for being the main character in Logan's Run mm -hmm. back in the 70s. Like I the remember main. Logan's Run. Yep. I watched it. Yeah. yeah. So the, the main. I, his name escapes me at the moment, but the main character in that movie, um, the one who has to go undercover because his palm stops blinking or whatever, um, that's, that's Michael York. He's the voice of Vertigo. So lots, lots of voice, lots of characters, lots of actors. Um, it is unofficial, but some people say at the very beginning of this episode, Batman is meeting a character named Twitch. Kind of skinny guy, white guy, crazy black hair. Some people say he is based off of Tim Burton, the director of the first two movies. I mean, that's that's a matter of opinion. It is what it is. So in this one, they talk about the Society of Shadows, which is where Talia and Raish come in. Whereas in the Batman Begins movies and stuff like that, it's the League of Shadows. So still, it's a lot of setup and stuff. Mm -hmm. So anyways, so you've seen Talia, you've seen Raish. You have not seen Count Vertigo before, but for Talia yeah. and Raish, what'd you think? I think so. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, it's just it's more of a setup than anything, but okay. It was good. Okay. Um, did you, whether before I mentioned it or after I mentioned it, do you recognize any of the voice actors? Either no, way, no. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll see Talia and Raish a lot through the rest of the series, so we'll see if we get those again. Um, episode fifty-one: The Man Who Killed Batman. Another another famous actor. Did you did you pick this one up? No. Ah, uh, bat in a dozen. Um, so this is all about Sid the Squid, a like just a random dude who happens to be either in the right place at the right time or the wrong place in the wrong time, depending on who you are. Mm -hmm. And he accidentally kills Batman, mm -hmm. and he's just like um, he's like I didn't mean to do it. Like right. this this isn't my thing. Right. Um, Harleen Quinzel makes her first appearance. We've seen mm -hmm. Harley Quinn multiple times. Right. But this is the first time she's actually said Harleen Quinzel. Mm -hmm. So Sid the Squid is played by one of my all-time favorite actors. Absolutely love this man. On my bucket list to meet him is I'm going to and just I built that up way too much cuz I don't know his name. It's a uh, Matt Frewer, I think is how you say his name. I know him. He was the voice of Panic in Hercules. He was the next door neighbor in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. He was Moloch in the Watchmen movie. Most notably, back in the 70s or the 80s, he was Max Headroom. Like, this dude has been around for a long time. So, I don't know. He's, he's a fantastic actor. I, I'm really... Like, I, I really like it. I mean, just to hear his voice. Like, he just stands out to me. Um, so, like I said, so, random guy accidentally kills Batman, doesn't, and Batman's just like, well, fuck it. I'm just gonna follow you around to see what happens. So, what'd you think of this one? It was good. I liked it. I liked him. Squid. <laughs> Sid the Squid. Yeah, he was, he was cute. And w what I love about it is, like, this this guy just wants to be well-known no. in a good way. And finally Batman's like, well, you're just going to go to prison and I'll just tell everybody that you're a badass. Mm -hmm. And nobody's like, oh, God, I don't want to touch him. That's Sid really, the Squid. Yeah. And he, he gets what he wants. Uh -huh. So it's like the he best of both worlds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the last episode for this video... Episode 52, Mudslide. Ron Perlman, who we've already talked about, been around forever. Right. I think, of, honestly, I think of Ron Perlman as Beauty and the Beast before I think of anything. Did you ever watch that? Like, mm -hmm. back in the 80s? Linda yeah. Hamilton? Yeah. Um, Ron Perlman as the voice of Matt Hagen, uh, a.k.a. Clayface. We've seen Clayface before. I think he had a two-parter. Um... So what do you think of Clayface? Clayface is more of a new villain. Like, you've seen the Joker. Mm, yeah. You've seen... I mean, realistically, you, you've seen Talia and Raish before. Right. But, like, but for Clayface, Clayface, he's more new for you. So what do you yeah. think of Clayface? He was okay. I mean, yeah, he had... 
anger when he gets angry that made him mm-hmm. really you know not likable but mm-hmm. then his girlfriend was mm-hmm. a doctor or something or something right, that right, right. had the potion to get him back to who he was they, they almost put him in like a plastic suit uh-huh. like a bubble yeah and and he was starting to come back and Batman shows up and they <laughs> pisses him off. <laughs> makes him mad and he goes after Batman and pushes his girlfriend and she knocks over the table that has all the formula and mm-hmm. that was the end of that him <laughs> come back. Which realistically, like it's a kids' cartoon, you know you're gonna see him again. It, yeah. it, it's not even a spoiler at that point. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, what do you think of Clayface as a, a character by himself? Man, I don't know. I not enough time yet. Not enough time. Okay. I'll tell you right now. You'll you'll see a lot of him, mm-hmm. whether this show or other series like Clayface's. He's slowly, like, rising the ranks of, like, Batman villains. So, okay. Um, a dozen ep- a dozen reviews into the series, 52 episodes. How are you feeling so far? That's a lot, but I'm liking it. Okay. Um, any other closing thoughts for these, this, no. these four episodes, I guess? No. No? Okay. So, for those who have seen these four, go ahead, let me know what you think of seeing Leslie Tompkins, the whole, like anniversary in crime alley which is something that batman kind of does over and over again um the off balance the introduction for the animated versions of talia and raish sid the squid and the return of clayface go ahead let me know what you think thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing and we will see you guys next time for another four episodes